Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a six digit number and a five digit number and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. We're going to apply the same principles we've learned in previous tutorials. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 835,000 627 minus 43,629. Now, as we've said in previous tutorials, what we're going to do is we're going to add the number to this number, the one we're subtracting, so that the sum equals this. Because we can, because we can rewrite this question to say 835,627 equals 43,629 plus something. Okay, so we're going to add the number to the smaller number we are subtracting. And as always, we're going to start with the units. How many units do we have? We've got 9. Our target is to get to 7. Now the next number with 7 units is 17. So what number added to the 9 here is going to give us 17? The answer is 8. 9 plus 8 equals 17. And because it's 17, we're carrying 1 over. On to the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have two. We've actually got three because we carried one over. What is our target? We need to get to two. So we start at three and we need to get to two. Therefore, the next number after three with two units is 12. So what number added to the three over here is going to give us 12? The answer is nine. Three plus nine is 12. And because it's 12, we are carrying one over across. On to the hundreds. We've got not six, but we've got seven hundreds because we carried one over. And what is our target? We need to get to six. Now the same principles. The next number after seven with six units is 16. So what number added to the seven here is going to give us 16? Well, the answer is nine. Seven plus nine is 16. And because it's 16, we're going to carry one across. Okay, on to the thousands. And it's the same principle, you just keep going. Okay, the thousands we've got, we don't have three, we've actually got four. Don't forget the one we carried over. And what is our target? We need to get to five. So we're starting at four. We need to get to five. What number do we have to add to the four? Well, it's simply one. Four plus one is five. Now, because it's five, notice how we are not carrying a number across. Okay, we're now on to the ten thousands. How many do we have? We've got four. What is our target? We need to get to three. Now, because three is smaller than four, the next number after four, which has got three units, is 13. So what number do we have to add to the four to give us 13? The answer is nine. 4 plus 9 is 13, and we are carrying 1 across. Okay, um, just looking for a different color. We've now got hundred thousands. How many hundred thousands have we got? Well, we've got one here. Let's just write it slightly larger. We've got one. How many do we need to get to? We need to get to 8. 8 is our target. So what number... Added to the 1 is going to give us 8. The answer is 7. And that is our answer. Let's write it down properly over here. We've got 791,998. Now that involved quite a lot of working out, didn't it? However, we are doing a 6-digit number minus a 5-digit number and effectively you are doing this with mental arithmetic okay we're not doing this in the vertical format now over a period of time you won't need to do any of these workings you'll just work through this and go straight to the answer but that requires practice and practiced you must practice you must I should say okay on to our second example we have seven hundred and forty nine thousand 
307 minus 84,542. Now the same principles apply. We're going to start with the units. How many have we got? We've got two units. Our target is to get to seven. So what number added to the two over here is going to give us seven? The answer is five. Okay, that was nice and easy. How about the tens? We've got four tens. Our target is to get to zero. Now the next number after four with a zero as the units is ten. So therefore, what number added to the four over here, which is going to give us ten? The answer is six. Four plus six is ten. And because it's ten, we are carrying one across. On to the hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? Well, we haven't got five. We've got six because we carried one over. What is our target? Our target is to get to three. Now, because three is smaller than six, what is the next number after six, which has got three as the units? The answer is 13. So six plus what number is going to give us 13? The answer is seven. Six plus seven is 13. And because it's 13, we are carrying one across. On to the thousands. We've got not four, but we've got five thousands. What is our target? We need to get to nine. So what number added to the five over here is going to give us nine? The answer is four. Five plus four is nine. And because it's nine, we are not carrying anything over. Okay, we keep going. We're on to the ten thousands. We've got eight ten thousands. Our target is to get to 4. So what number after 8 has 4 as the units? The answer is 14. So what number added to 8 is going to give us 14? Well, the answer is 6. 8 plus 6 is 14, and we are carrying 1 across. We're on to now the last one, the 100,000s. We've got 100,000s, the one we carried over. Our target is to get to 7. So what number added to the 1 is going to give us 7? The answer is 6. And that is our answer. Let's write it down properly. We've got 664,765. Now again, that took quite a long time to work out, but with practice, you will, you will get faster and faster at this, and you will also get more accurate. So that is how we subtract a six-digit number and a five-digit number using the horizontal format.